With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So here we have to state the property that is used in each of the following statements. So the given statements are if a parallel to b then angle 1 is equals to angle 5. If angle 4 is equals to angle 6 then a is parallel to b. Okay. If angle 4 plus angle 5 is equals to 180 then a is parallel to b. So in first part it is given to us that if a is parallel to b then angle 1 is equals to angle 5. So this is our angle 1 and this is our angle 5. Let us name this line as L and this is as N. Okay. So as you can see that A is parallel to B. This is given to us and you can see that L is the transversal. Okay. So here that means angle 1 will be equal to angle 5 because they are corresponding angles okay in second part it is given that angle 4 is equals to angle 6 okay angle 4 is equals to angle 6 then a is parallel to b okay so here it is given that angle 4 is equals to angle 6 okay so here you can see that these these both angles are the pair of alternate interior angles okay as you know that if alternate interior angles are equal that means the line a is parallel to b okay now in third part it is given that it is given that angle 4 plus angle 5 is equals to 180 degree okay then a is parallel to b so so angle 4 is this angle and angle 5 is this angle okay so angle 4 plus angle 5 is equals to 180 degrees so you can see that these are the sum of these are the sum of interior angles on the same side of transversal so here the transversal is l okay so this is our line l which is our transversal transversal L okay so here you can see that the sum of interior angles on the same side of transversal L is 180 degrees if this condition is there so this means that A is parallel to B so this completes our solution for class 6 to 12 ITG and NEET level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today